All right, what's up guys? So I'm just gonna do a little video today uh, to explain why I think you can't lucid dream. Okay, so this is for beginners. If you are having trouble lucid dreaming, and a lot of people are, okay, uh, you would be surprised how many people actually email me saying, you know, I just literally can't get started. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to physically have a lucid dream. I know things about it. You know, they may have read articles. They may know how it works, how it's supposed to work, but they just can't actually get it to happen. So this video is gonna be for you guys. And there are two things I would like to talk about in this video uh, with regards to why you can't lucid dream or why you might not be able to have your first lucid dream. Because at the end of the day, the rest of it is kind of straightforward. Once you've had the first lucid dream, you know what it feels like, you know how to induce them. So it's just a case of building on your skills, but the difficult part is actually having the first lucid dream. So let's just get started, okay? The main reason that you can't lucid dream is one of two things, okay? Number one, you're not practicing enough variation of techniques. So you might be focusing on one thing and nothing else. So you might be just thinking, right, I need to learn the wake induced lucid dream. That's all I'm gonna practice until I get success. That might be the reason you're not having a lucid dream because you're not trying enough things. You're not trying enough variation. You're not trying different techniques, okay? And the reason this is a problem is because, like I said in previous videos, everyone is different. Okay, so for you, a technique might work perfectly, but for someone else, that same technique might not work for them. So it's important to make sure that you try lots of different techniques as opposed to just one, okay? However, don't get this confused with, and this is the other thing I wanna talk about, don't get this confused with trying something for a day and then giving up on it, because that is the other reason why you might not be able to lose a dream. Okay, if you try, lots of different techniques and you try one every single day, again, that might be a problem. That might be the reason you're not able to control your dreams because you're not giving it enough time. You're not sticking with it long enough. So this, what I'm really trying to say is you've got to find a balance between trying lots of different techniques to find one that works for you and sticking with each technique long enough to see results. So the, the best way of finding this balance I've found is to do it in blocks of time, set blocks of time. But each block of time has to be long enough that you give it the option, you give it the ability to show up results. You give it a chance, so to speak, okay? So what you're gonna do, and this is what I invite you to do for as long as it takes, maybe a month, maybe two months, it probably will happen sooner, okay? I would invite you to try a different technique every week, okay? Now don't change your technique before then, and don't stick with it much longer than after a week if it's not working, okay? So say, right, week one, I'm gonna try the wake back to bed. Week two, wake induced lucid dream. Week three, mnemonic induced lucid dream. Week four, cycle adjustment technique, whatever the case may be, okay? And this way, you're giving it enough time to show up results and to give it a chance to work. A week is more than long enough if you try it every night. At the same time, you're actually varying your technique. So you're giving, a chance, you're giving yourself more chance of success by trying lots of different techniques. And these two things are personally what I think are the, the fastest ways to having a first lucid dream. If you're struggling, this is literally what I would advise you to do. Okay, so try a different technique every week, but in that week that you do try it, don't don't do it half-heartedly. Really make sure that you focus on the technique that you're doing for that week, okay? So if you're doing week one, you're doing wake back to bed, don't be reading articles about some other technique and some other method and some weird way where you drink mug water at a certain time in the morning. Don't do that. Focus on one technique for that week and then move on to the other one, and move on to the next one. And all the time you're doing this, write the results in a diary. Write down how you feel how you actually feel about the technique and how it's working. Write down any changes you notice in your sleep, in your dreams, and highlight important parts. And then that way you'll be able to look back on them, you'll be able to say, right, that day I tried such and such technique, and this happened in my dreams. And after about two to three weeks, maybe a month, you will, well, firstly, guaranteed you will have a lucid dream, okay? Uh, and secondly, you will have um, a diary of results that you can look back on and check and compare. You can decide and you can see quite clearly which technique worked best for you, which one maybe didn't work so well. 
and that way you can decide where to focus your efforts and how to build on your skills and how to advance in lucid dreaming. So I really hope this has helped you guys. It's only a, a short little video, but I would lit I just advise you to try it. Give it a go, okay? Worst case scenario, you spent a month trying different techniques, but I, I'm almost guaranteed it will work. You will have a lucid dream if you haven't already, okay? So if you know someone who's struggling with lucid dreaming, uh, please please share them share this video with them. Yeah, send it send it to them in a Facebook message. Copy the link, what, however you want to share it. But I really invite you to just try it. Give it a go. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. There's gonna be lots more videos coming. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.